When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. Hey everybody. This is a quick video to address something that came up in a comment exchange yesterday. You know, there are times when I will make a comment uh, to someone along the lines of, if you understood how this worked, you wouldn't be asking that question. And it's dismissive, and I don't always mean it that way. Admittedly, I do sometimes. Some of you out there have no idea what you're talking about or, and are wasting everyone's time. But most of the time, I actually mean it. With a little bit of education, many of the claims made by moon landing deniers or flat earthers would simply go away. So I found it quite amusing yesterday when YouTuber One Bastard of the Party accused me of ignorance in regard to how sight works. I am, after all, a professional graphic designer. While within the hour, he was making a claim that displays his own ignorance of that very same subject, how sight works. He made a claim about the apparent fraudulence of NASA photos because the size of the continents change from image to image. Africa is one size in one image and an entirely different size in another, he used as an example. He claims this makes them demonstrated liars. But what this is, is a demonstration of his ignorance of how sight works. It's come up before from other commenters, so I figured I would just take a moment to help educate people like one bastard. This is the type of thing he was talking about. We have the famous blue marble shot from Apollo 17 during its translunar trip here. And we have an image of the Earth taken by NASA's epic camera on the Discover satellite about a million miles away here. Note the difference in the size of Africa in the two photos. Things are a bit obscured, but if we were to measure from the southern tip of Africa to the northern tip of Somalia here, on both of them you can see the Apollo 17 image has a lot bigger Africa. According to folks like one bastard who don't understand these things, this is evidence of fakery. CGI imaging is their claim. But let me show you something. This is an old globe I have in my basement office. I took this photo from about 20 feet away. I zoom in and get a nice tight shot of it staying 20 feet away. Note the size of Africa. Now I'm going to show you a photo I took with the exact same camera from 8 to 12 inches away. Look at how big Africa is now. This is real. This is how sight works. Some of you may think I photoshopped this. I am, after all, a professional at this. But honestly, I'm not good enough to fake video. So why does this happen? Well, as we all know, the closer you are to an object, the bigger it looks. The more visual area it takes up in your field of view. When you're far away from the Earth, like a million miles away, like the Discovery satellite is, the front of the globe isn't that much further away from you than the outer edges are. But when you get closer to the globe, the facing area of the globe is much closer to you than the outer edges, and thus takes up a greater field of view. So instead of being evidence of fakery, like some people would claim, this difference in appearance is evidence of veracity as a photo taken within the orbital distance of the moon should look this different from a photo taken four or five times further away. Because that's just how sight works. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me. 